I'd like to give a shout out to the newest member of the comment club. If you want to join the comment club, make sure you leave a comment below. What is going on guys? This is the Kranz Melt here. I know you guys are thinking, what the piss, dude? You're supposed to be wearing a button-up shirt, not some ratty old t-shirt. Well, guys, I've started... It pains me to say this. Trying to be healthy. Started running today and started eating better. I'm gonna try my best at getting healthy, so definitely is gonna be hard, but it should be a pretty fun adventure. Um, I might got a lineup update for you here today, so I'm gonna show you the lineup update. We might open up some packs while I talk about some things I'm doing to improve my health, but it should be pretty fun. Um, start off with the lineup. It's been freaking forever. I think the last update I was a 92 overall with most feared cam or something like that. It's been a freaking while. So you can see we got 99 Michael Vick here. I'm gonna see if I can do a quick comparison. Um, I'll just I'll just show his stats here. 99 overall Mike Vick. 95 speed with uh, 98 throw power, 94 throw accuracy short, 92 medium, 94 deep. All chemmed out. Dude's a monster. I love playing with mobile quarterbacks. Of course, it's not like it was back in the day. Like Madden 15. Oh, man. Mobile quarterbacks were so nice. Um, not as good as that, but still pretty solid. Uh, and then right here, uh, we got Adrian Peterson. Limited time Pro Bowl legend. I like the card a lot. 93 speed, 95 truck. So it's like... If you put together like David Johnson and Derrick Henry, boom, you get AP. Dude's a beast. Not as great as my most feared um, Derrick Henry. I'm, I'm not going to lie. Like, the speed is good, but the trucking just is not as good as that Derrick Henry. And I don't think there's going to be a card as good as that, that most feared Derrick Henry. I know there's motivators, but uh, the stats aren't that much upgraded. And the most feared chem was amazing if you used it. Also, the enrage, if you bundled it up with the enrage chem, it was just amazing. Let me just say that. Um, I upgraded to limited time Max Strong. I'm still rocking with the same receivers I've had for a while. Brandon Cooks, Antonio Brown, and Alshon Jeffrey. So, my offensive chems are, for at least receiver-wise, deep threat times two, chain mover times two, route runner times two, and... Uh, slot expert times too. So I have a lot of upgrades to all of my receivers. Um, I got Ed McCaffrey here at number four, just in case I need uh, to throw it up. He also is a pretty decent blocker, so not too bad. And then we got Milestone Greg Olsen here, route runner, slot expert, and chain mover chems. Awesome. Freaking solid. Uh, offensive line has gotten an upgrade. I'm uh, still looking to upgrade right guard. I'm, I'm just waiting for the best possible right guard to come out. I want really want an IP times two without having to pay like 400k for Yanda. Um, so that's what my goal is. And then I can actually get another spot because I have a uh, uniform boosting me up to IP uh, tier two. Uh, but then anyways, we got Richie Incognito's Beast. Paradis here and Anthony Munoz. This is the milestone, so you get times two edge protector. That's pretty nice. And also, I got Streif that gives a plus two run block to the entire team. Usually, sub them out for Whitworth uh, to get that uh, secure pass blocker or whatever it's the, the, the secure pass blocker. I think that's what it is. Um, boost on the outside, so that's pretty nice. That's pretty much it for the offense. I keep spitting, man. Um, <laughs> that's pretty much it for the offense. Um, the upgrades we've made. I would like to uh, upgrade Ozzy News sometime, but uh, not just yet. Then on defense, I'm going to start off with defense so I don't forget. I got to give a huge shout out to my name is not Clay. Hopefully I didn't screw it up. I'm so, I'm so bad at names. But uh, dude was a monster. Gave us the hookup of 99 overall Ray Nitschke. Now this is the set version, but this is like a 500k card, if not more now. So I just, dude is awesome. Go go follow him on Twitter, guys. I will put a link for his channel down in, or his Twitter down in the description. So guys, go give him a follow. He posted a lot of funny stuff. Was doing a ton of giveaways. So definitely worth following. Um, yeah, anyways. Uh, so these are my two starting middle linebackers. Bobby Wagner, Ray Nitschke. I wish I could have the chem, um, chem boost on Bobby Wagner as well. Um, cause it, it's a little bit better of a comparison, a little bit better, not much, but it is a little bit better. Um, but Ray Nischke is so freaking good. Like 87 speed, 
97 block shed, 97 hit power. That's with block shed and hit power uh, motivators, by the way. Uh, 97 pursuit, 95 tackle, 95 play right. Dude's a beast. And then if we um, we can look at Bobby Wagner here and see how good he is as well. Um, 90 speed, 95 tackle, 94 pursuit, 91 block shed, 98 hit power, 94 zone, 96 pursuit. Awesome card. Like my linebackers are juiced. Um, Khalil Mack, limited time team of the week. I, I really want to upgrade, but it's just not worth it to upgrade to the team of the year or the the honors. Is that what came out? I don't I don't remember. There was another one that came out. Probably gonna wait a little bit longer for a new left outside linebacker. Love his chems. I hope his chems stay this way because I really like him. Uh, defensive line we'll go to next. Olivier Vernon, we're sticking with him for a while. Gives a plus two block shed to the entire team. Uh, we got Quan Short. Pretty solid. Nothing to complain about so far. I got McDaniel here that I only have for the Seattle boost that it gives Bobby Wagner there. And then I got Ed Tutal Jones, who had an insane interception. If I can find the clip, I will put it in here. But it was just freaking amazing. Like, I love the interception he had. Um, those guys played pretty solid. It's a 3-4, so usually I have th three guys rushing. Sometimes these outside linebackers are down rushing as well, and it takes out, like, a defensive tackle. Sometimes I sub out Vernon. It just depends on what personnel is really on the field. Next, we will go to corners. Why not? Uh, it's been pretty similar. It hasn't changed too much recently. Um, Night Train Lane's been there for a while. Amerson's been there for a while. But I sub Amerson out for Jalen Ramsey. Uh, the ultimate freeze one. Nice. He's a beast. We got DRC who's been there a while since uh, we pulled him. We pulled actually two of them, which was pretty hyped. I was, I was pretty hyped. Not going to lie. Um, so, yeah, that's cornerbacks. And then safeties, you're like, dude, 93 overall. You need to upgrade him. Well, actually, I put in 95 overall Landon Collins. I'm pretty sure he goes to a higher. If I was to put him here, he'd be like a 97, 96, 97, 98, somewhere in there. Uh, but because I put him out of position, he's a little bit lower. But it's not too bad because he still gets insane boost i'm going to show you a comparison to the paul kraus um i like having both these guys on the field that's the, another uh, one of our upgrades milestone paul kraus uh, but landon collins 93 speed 95 acceleration 89 play rec 95 tackle 88 zone kind of kind of a little sucky not gonna lie 95 pursuit 99 hip power dude causes some fumbles great stats everything's boosted because those chems i love those chemistries um, and then at strong safety, I have Paul Krause. I'm going to show you guys his boosted stats because boosted stats are always better than non-boosted. Um, 93 speed, 93, or 96 acceleration, 96 play rec, only 81 tackle. He's more of a, a pass coverage safety, but he makes plays. That's all I'm going to say. Paul Krause makes plays. If you need him, if you need a safety, go get him. It doesn't matter if you get the base legend. It doesn't matter if you get the ultimate legend set. Or the boss, it doesn't matter. They're all good. Uh, 94 man, 95 zone. So he's got coverage stats out the wazoo here. Uh, 93 pursuit, only 80 hit power, but he has forced a fumble for me, surprisingly enough. Um, chems are amazing on him as well. I wish I could get deep defender times two, uh, but I just, it's not worth it right now. Once they come out with tier three chems, I might try to incorporate tier two maybe even tier three a lot of these chems are going to be tier three um pick specialist i'm very close to tier three if i don't one two three four five six i definitely already have it um but it just depends i think i can get tier two fear field general and big hitter might do that i don't know what i'm gonna do yet hopefully uh they come out soon if they ever come out i don't know if that's gonna be a, a thing they planned out or, or not but um, <laughs> let's see uh, special teams shouldn't be too crazy. We got these uh, focus kickers um, in there just to make sure we kick good balls because we kind of suck at kicking. Um, Ricky Williams is a solid backup. We have him at kick returner and punt returner. He has fumbled a few times like on the he, he goes to catch it and just drops it. It's freaking weird. Um, but I guess your kick return rating goes into the catching if you're gonna catch the pass or the kick or not i don't know it's kind of strange but uh yeah i think that is it for the lineup update i guess i could show you guys 
Um, the jerseys and coaches, if you guys want to see them, you guys can look back at the squad and see what gets boosted. But route runner and pass rush gets boosted by the coach. We got pick specialists, so we, we could downgrade one more pick specialist and still have enough for tier three if they do come out with that because that's stadium. Then we have edge center times two and uh, bruising back and inside protector to get us to tier two there. Um, running with the Jets offense, I like it a lot. And then the Ravens defense, like in both of those playbooks. Um, yeah, so... Let's uh let's get into a couple of packs. Not gonna go too crazy, but I just want to talk about what I plan to do to try to improve my health. Um, so I drink a ton of so elite, elite. So I drink a lot of soda. So I'm trying to cut down on the soda, uh, cut down on the sugar. Period, and uh, try to get eat a lot better. Cause I I I'm a big dude. I'm six foot five, like 250 pounds. I can eat like for real. Um, but I need to cut back, so I'm gonna work on cutting back on the food. 84 overall, that ain't bad, that ain't bad. Um, so I'm working on that, starting to work out again. I, in high school, I was on like the, the cross country team and the track team. I was a runner back in the day. Like, I, I, I ran a half mile at, at track meets, and my time was like two minutes and five seconds was my best time. Um, but it usually was around 207, 210, somewhere in there. Um, and then cross country, I ran like two meets. Um, I only ran, so in cross country, I ran like a 5K, uh, which is like 3.1 miles. My fastest time for that was 19 minutes and 35 seconds. And that was my first 5K I ever ran. Uh, the second one, it was like 21 minutes or 22 minutes. It was awful. Um, and it was the hardest course on the east coast i also hadn't been running at all so it, it was a bad day period um but 1935 is a great first 5k now i can probably run a mile in about 20 minutes <laughs> no i ran two miles today um and it was like a run run a minute walk two minutes run a minute walk two minutes that sort of thing i got two miles done in about 20 just over 20 minutes so the fact that I was walking a third of, or two thirds of the time isn't bad. Like if I could have kept up a steady jog, I would have been moving. Um, but I want to work back into it slowly, getting ready for flag football season. She'll be pretty fun. I, I like, I play like a tight end wide receiver. 73 overall, 73 overall. We got to check that price. Um, I'll open up a couple more packs. Um, but so I, I play like a tight end wide receiver position. I'm not, I'm, I'm fast. I'm, I'm deceptively fast for a, like for a fat guy I can run um, but I'm not you know run past in shape people uh, so I focus more like the medium in the short routes every once in a while when they're not when, when they put like a another fat dude on me I can outrun a fat dude I can outrun a fat fat dude so that's what I do um, I'll just like try to burn them and, and hopefully the, the, the quarterback sees me open we are trash though like we lost I think the, the first year I played, we lost all of our games. The second year, we won like one or two. It was bad. Uh, but ho I had to take one season off. And so that's really why I haven't really done any workouts in a while. I said one more pack and opened like three more. We did get a 72 overall here. But let me know what you guys think. If you guys have any tips for helping me get back in shape, definitely drop it down in the comment section down below. I'm definitely going to be checking out your guys' tips and... Uh, you guys are probably going to make fun of me for being fat. Let's set it off with one more pack. Why not? I, it's just habit. I just freaking opened the packs. Uh, let's see. Come on. Come on. Finish off strong. 76 overall. Okay. A collectible, though. A Corey Glenn collectible. I think this is one of the first weeks. But definitely going to take it. Probably a couple of K there. So not bad. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. Let me know what you guys think of my lineup. Give me some tips for getting back in shape. See you guys in the next video. Peace out. We go on power stack with tweet. We ask you how them haters felt. Like and subscribe to the page. It's the crayon smell. All the team and check the squad. You need to brace yourself. Boy, you getting clowned on. We ain't talking day Chappelle. That picks, we got them. Hit sticks, we got them. We juke left, we juke right. Well, how you gonna stop it?